Hi, and welcome to the very first Smash It podcast. The aim of the Smash It podcast is to disseminate information and understanding about the Smash It project and its objectives. The Smash It project aims to overcome obstacles in the rapidly growing data economy, which is characterized by all sorts of various diverse technical designs and proprietary implementations. In this episode, I got to speak with Anna Kukaya from ATB, all about consent. Now, ATB, or the Institute for Angavanta System Technique, Bremen GmbH, or the Institute for Applied Systems Technology Bremen in Germany, is a non-profit organization founded in 1991 by the state of Bremen, Bremen University, and a group of industrial companies, Daimler AG, Atlas Electronic, GmbH, BLG AG, OAS AG, and OHB System AG. ATB has a research team of roughly 20 full-time researchers, supported by about 10 researchers working on a part-time basis. The main strategic business areas of ATB are system analysis and design, knowledge management, and software systems technology. ATB's main role is to be the coordinator of the Smash It project, leading the consortium in administrative and financial issues. It also leads the tasks for Smash It concept development, specification and development of a context-sensitive solution, as well as the Smash Hit methodology. Anna's role is to support the coordinator, Christian Wolf, on the coordination, and more importantly, is leading the development tasks on the technical side. The Smash It project contributes to the data economy by creating new and better services by using the data from the connected car and smart cities environment. The aim is to assure a trusted and secure sharing of data streams from both personal and industrial platforms, which are needed to build sectorial and cross-sectorial services, solve the consumer consent, and create fair rules to data exchange. These data streams offer new opportunities to build innovative services, but their combination with other personal industrial data is subject to complex ownership and consent aspects, as the data streaming from these products belong to persons or organizations who are the owners or users of these products. The project will strongly use the relation to the big data value association. Hi, I'm Anna Correa. I work in ATB in Bremen. ATB is the coordinator of uh, the Smash It project. And besides having the main role as uh, coordinator of the project, which I'm supporting, um, my colleague Christian Wolf is the uh, actual coordinator. We are also leading tasks of specification and development of context sensitive solution and the methodology and we have a strong role in the uh, concept development and I'll be leading the um, development team within ATB for these technical tasks. What's ATB's role in the Smash It project, Anna? So as a coordinator of the project, we will be leading financially and uh, in terms of management to get all the partners in a good place in three, the three years that the project lasts. And we have a, a strong role in, in the concept development. So in this first part of the project, we have to get all the bits and pieces that we have thought of on proposal time, get them all together and how to achieve the, the goals of the project. Okay, can you tell me a bit about the context of the Smash It project and how it came about, how it came around, Anna? So ATB and some of the other Smash It partners, we had already since some years worked in projects in the field of data marketplaces where we have seen that there's a very fragmented data sharing landscape. So we have several marketplaces, many different data sources from, we have worked in these other projects with vehicles, smart buildings, smart infrastructure, but this applies to any product that we have now in the market with sensors and putting out data. And this is, we've seen that this has a huge potential for use of this data for the most various applications, but the access to this data uh, is still being managed with scattered systems. So we have different data sharing platforms. We don't have clear agreements or consents or contracts being done over this data. So this on the one side is not transparent for data owners. So for instance, the vehicle owners and because there's no transparency in the contract and certification process of, of providing their data. And we have to win their trust to give the data for data consumers to use this data on, on the most various applications. And on the other side, also the OEM of the devices. So whoever is manufacturing the devices, they want to make sure that 
their data is not being misused. And so what we've seen in the past few years in these, these other projects is that companies like, for instance, Volkswagen, they have some problem in providing or facilitating the access to the data for their vehicles to external partners for them to make applications. Up to now, it's only Volkswagen doing services for themselves. They don't have the trust to facilitate this uh, consent from data owner which is the, the vehicle owner, up to uh, service providers for them to yeah, get this data. So there's a lot of holes that we want to cover. I bet. There's a big issue around data consent and its regulation. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so this is one of the main smash hit topics, and that is we want to empower data owners to exploit the potential of their data. And we'll do this by providing them with tools to regulate the consent that they have to give for data consumers to use it. So no data can come out of their devices without them giving consent for this. And after they have given consent to company A, B and C, I don't know, insurance or some uh, weather app or any other application that wants to use this data, they will lose sight of who uses their data, what for and where. And so they might stop them from trusting their data to many more data customers. Also, this consent and regulation is very important, like I've said, to the OEM companies, so providing the devices, because they need to trust that they are pushing their data to this huge data sharing economy and they want to know that the data that they will give or facilitate in the end are of high quality and uh, the data integrity is maintained and in the end also the data customers so people using this data to make their applications. They want to have a regulated uh, system where they don't have many trouble in getting the data, the, the consent from data customers to give them the data. So they want to have a trustful environment in the end. How is all this data, how's the data being used and then refined between the different stakeholders? So the data itself coming from the, the devices in the part of consent and contract certification of the data that we talked about, it's not going to be handled directly by Smashit. So what is handled by Smashit is the metadata. So we want to know what is about and we will have to handle also the user personal data. So to identify and make the connection of this data to the contract and consent given. For the part that I talked about um, ensuring uh, data integrity and high quality of data, then Smashit will have to handle directly data. And this is by investigating uh, fingerprinting solutions in order to make sure that this data from data uh, provider to data customer is uh, in one piece and uh, not being misused. We had a previous discussion and we spoke about two use cases, uh, Volkswagen and Nexus Lexus and the Helsinki and Smart City open data use cases. Can you tell the listeners a bit about those two different use cases that's, a smash, that's involved in the Smash It project? So, um, yeah, these two business cases are, of course, our two main drivers of the project. We will drive to make a generic solution, but these two business cases will be the first ones. So providing the main requirements to get us to, to, to make a good solution. And we have uh, the first use case is on data use for insurance purposes, uh, risk analysis, and it will be getting data streams from vehicles as well as from the insurance market. And the partners are Volkswagen and LexisNexis. So, of course, Volkswagen for the vehicle uh, data uh, provision, LexisNexis as a um, data broker who works with many insurance companies and is, of course, interested in, in having this consent and, and certification and contract regulated. On use case two, we have uh, advanced uh, smart city and cyber physical products data integration and services, and we are combining the Helsinki traffic uh, information with smart city data platforms, also working on, on that area and vehicle data. So the partners are Forum Virum, InfoTripla and Volkswagen, where Forum Virum is the Helsinki city um, innovation company. 
and InfoTripla is an SME providing solutions for better mobility and Volkswagen also with the connected vehicles data and they want to have regulation over the data going from all the different stakeholders, from ships coming into the city, from the traffic, from the vehicles, the the users that want to go from A to B. So a lot of stakeholders involved and many problems having to be solved with consent and how this is all regulated. So this is the reason why the project has come about? Mm -hmm. Yes. There's a talk of a dispatcher also for harvesting all the data. So the dispatcher will not harvest all the data. They will, it's going to be the part that is going to regulate the contract and the consent. So um, it's handling the data that, that we talked about. So the personal data to make the identification of the users that are about in, in, in the system and the metadata that is being handled. But the data itself will be uh, stored in whatever marketplaces that are available. So we don't want to invent the wheel. Again, there are enough marketplaces, data platforms, and we want to get data from all this. And we just want to uh, make a layer that will regulate and, and, and um, the, the consent and the, and the contracts between all the stakeholders. Thanks for listening to the Smash It podcast. For more information, you can check out the podcast or visit the website at www.smashit.eu.